Okay, so right here I have a rear view mirror for Silverado. Mine's a 2003, and um, the um, that display's not working. I fixed it already once, and I'm going to fix it again. So we're going to go step by step. Um, what I'm going to do is we're going to take this apart. I've got an iFixit kit. That's what I use, and I'm using um, these plastic pry bars or prying utensils. And I, I take and I'll put it right in here, and I get this popped up, and then you should be able to kind of get this little lip on this tool here, and then pry up right here, and then just run it along, and I'll just pop it open. So let me pop this open real quick, and I'll show you on the inside of this. Okay, I finally got it uh, cracked open, and then when it, once it comes open, you want to kind of gently raise it up and up and out of the way. You'll have a set of wires right here, the red being a positive, this black being a negative that's hooked up to um, your mirror backside. I think that's part of the, the tinting on that. Um, and then you have this wiring harness that's plugged into this this port right here so what you do is you'll uh, take these wiring harnesses out now I saw a video um, one guy had a problem and his ground broke off on this case my ground is secure and the both of the, the both of those are are good but just check those wiring connections right there uh, let me take these apart and then uh, we'll flip this board around I'll show you these resistors that usually lose the soldering contact. Okay, so I got this the wiring off now. Um, when you pull this this board out, that was the wiring here and right over here. Now, with the display, you have these three resistors right here. Now, the one I'll focus up on here. The one I repaired, and you can kind of see it right here. This one right here, the top of it is cracked, and that's why it's not mine's not working anymore. Spin it around, see if you can't see that crack on there. I'll zoom up a little bit. Right there, that black line, that's the crack of the solder joint right there. So, um, what you could do is you can either take a solder iron and touch that up, but what I'll do is I'll pull that old solder out, clean it up, um, redip it with resin or um, flux, and then put new solder in there and make sure it's thicker and got a better bond. Um, what, why this happens is usually when the circuits get warmed up and, and heated up, it... Um, it cracks a solder joint um, when it heats up it starts thinning it out so I'll uh, get my tools and uh, do that and uh, we'll see how it looks later on okay so I got the board on my board stand that I have here it kind of helps station it, station the board where I want it to go I can turn it all over the place I can grab it on the sides here if I want comes out pretty handy and then um, I have magnifying glass in there to see what I'm doing because you know it is these res resistors are pretty small um, so what I did was I cleaned it up I got the old solder off which I'll zoom in here so I pulled all that old solder off of that bad connection right there and how I did that was I heated that up I used a solder sucker and this one it, and it has a lot of good reviews. This one right here, I got it on Amazon. Um, take a look at it. And then to clean it up even more, it'll just suck up a lot of the solder. And what you want to use, it's called a uh, solder wick. Something like this. And you lay your siren iron, iron on, on top of the wick. And... You just kind of rub it back and forth and this will actually soak up most of the solder as you can see right right on there you can see that that's got a little bit of solder 
all it is is it's braided copper. It usually pulls that up pretty good. So what I'm going to do now is I got to go get my roll of solder, but I'm going to touch that up with some flux. This is rosin core flux pen with a nice little adapter, you know, felt tip. You just dab it on there. You only you only need a little bit, and then uh, you can apply some solder on there. It helps with the adhesion to the the two surfaces back. On, on the on the resistor and onto the board, so I want to get my solder and uh, we'll solder that up. Okay, so I didn't I didn't record the uh, of what happened when the solder after I soldered it and put it all back together, but I got it all back together. And it wasn't working before, but now working just fine now. So I would say nine times out of ten, that would be the problem, is the um, the resistors. That would be the problem with that for sure. Uh, and then um, I've I've actually um, saw somewhere that uh, same resistors are inside this dash, this instrument cluster dash in here, and those crack as well too. Same resistor. It may be a different number, but this will this will go dim. This won't display either. It's either one or the other, or this goes to a different like English or something like that. Those resistors get warm and that solder gets broken in there. And this isn't that hard in order to take that apart and then re-solder re all that. And then um, if you know you're gonna have to do that and you have any of these that are bad as well too, you replace those stepper motors. There's videos on YouTube in order to do that. And then while you're in there, you might as well get uh, LED lights. That way you can have nice LEDs. I put all red LEDs in mine, and they, it looks great. So, all right. Thanks a lot. Hope this helps.